hi guys welcome back in this video we are going to see how we can create our first hard hat project uh, there was someone in the comments uh, who was asking for this tutorial and there was some problem compiling the codes in hard hat so no problem it's really easy you just need to uh, initiate the first uh, npm project and then in package.json you need to install some packages which you can find here I am just going to copy and paste these dependencies so you can just do this and then you can click install npm install in the meantime I am going to create .env file which will have all of our variables uh, I'm just going to copy and paste this Volta testnet uh, API URL private key where I have some Volta tokens and let's remove this contract address these are the configurations from my previous tutorial uh, now the hard hat is installed if you see here the hard hat is installed so first of all you need to do npx hard hat to initiate a hard hat project you can create javascript or typescript project but let's create javascript and here the project is initiated now you have this contract log.sol like you can create this but i'm going to copy and paste the contract from here on ethereum.org this is just hello world so i, I just want to show you how you can uh, initiate a first hard hat project so I'm just going to remove all the comments let's make this cleaner and so what's the error let's go here okay so now it's giving an a warning we have not put the license so let's okay let's put the license otherwise it's going to give the warnings so we are just going to copy the license from here and I'm going to put it here so now we have no error uh, let's change this file name to hello world let's go to deploy remove everything you need to remove these things because it's just starting up something for the constructor for the log contract but we are not working with the log contract and also we can just remove everything here and we can say contract address we need to know at which address the contract is deployed um, our contract is hello world so we are going to say get hello world from the contract factory we are going to assign the same variable here let's do this underscore and instead of lock hello world or deploy but we are not giving any constructor so we just do this and um, so now your deploy file is ready your contract is ready so what you can do is simply first of all you can say npx hard hat compile so it has compiled uh, this contract file and now in the artifacts you have this hello world.json and you have the contract ABI here and now our contract is uh, compiled so we can try to uh, upload it on Volta testnet so npx hard hat run dash dash network Volta scripts deploy.js let's do this I hope we don't have any error oh network Volta doesn't exist because we don't have we did not update uh, the hard hat configuration here so we will just go here and I'm just going to copy and paste this from my previous project and let's remove this hard hat upgrade uh okay let's just keep this they're not doing anything um just 
come on let's forget it um let's do this again okay so missing one argument in the constructor let's see okay in the constructor we have to give a string init message so the message is in it so in order to give a value to the constructor this is first message because this is the initial message so let's try do this again log is not defined oh man oh come on these silly mistakes let's try to upload it now i hope it works yeah so the contract address is this on volta testnet so let's try to deploy it on matic but okay i don't have any matic coins um, so you can try and deploy it matic by getting the matic coins from uh, matic faucet from alchemy so we can just go copy this address and we can go here volta explorer and we can just try to paste it here to see if this contract is deployed so yes this contract is deployed and this is the transaction and you can see this transaction is 44 seconds ago 46 seconds ago so okay the contract is deployed and we have the abi here so uh, if you want to interact with this contract you can just create index.js file and i'm just going to copy and paste something from my uh, previous videos because in this video i just want to show you how we can interact with the contract so i'm just copy and i'm just going to copy and paste this so from const ethers equal to require ethers you need to import ethers library you need to define the environment variables you need them in your file so you need to run this command in order to get all these variables from environmental environment file then you need to define your provider signer the abi of the contract it's not greeting it's hello world hello hello world and it's hello world so now you have this abi and now you have this contract instance and in this contract you have this function update message so if we want to update message how we are going to do this let's let's try uh, async function transaction uh, okay so we can do this like this const transaction is equals to await contract instance dot update and we can see the string updated updated message so if you go to this file we can see it's an update function and it takes string so we can just uh, go and update this string and let's see if it allows us to update await tx dot wait and finally run this function uh, i think we have not copied this contract code in the env file yeah okay <coughs> sorry So the transaction is being written on the blockchain yeah so without any error it is written and um, uh, let's see if we can we can see if there is any activity on this contract so yeah you see there is an activity 19 20 seconds ago we sent a transaction to this contract to change uh, the message in this now if you go here in this contract we don't have any function like get message so we cannot actually see 
right now like wh what is the updated message so you can update this contract you can get this the, the message which has been updated and you can print it here in index.js so yeah that was all about it in this video i explained to you how you can create your first hardware pro project how you can upload your smart contract to you to the choice of uh, blockchain the blockchain you prefer and in the end you can write a backend or maybe just simple index.js file to communicate with the blockchain network thank you very much thank you very much for watching take care bye bye